on days it's nice like this, it's only natural that I take on my biggest challenge yet. How do I even go about this? Just... There we go. All right. <laughs> Yay. Here, I have an idea. I'll break it up into like nice little sectors. This way it's not as overwhelming and eventually it'll all start to come together. <laughs> Does the green nozzle work for a lot of this dirt on the ground? Kind of. I still think the yellow nozzle will always reign supreme. It just like actually erases the dirt rather than the green, which kind of leaves some of it behind. Because, hey, wait, these are little like cat prints. Oh, hey, there's the actual cat again. Wait a second, is the cat doing all of this? But here we go, now I have myself my favorite little tactic. Just a slow A and D back and forth. And just like that, voila. This is such a difference. <laughs> oh man, how long am I about to be here cleaning this? Will people even still be skating by the time I'm done? Like that's not gonna fade out? I can't tell is this supposed to be here or am i cleaning this off oh okay i thought skate parks were supposed to have like neat little graffiti on them are we sure we want me to wash this away game because i feel like this actually kind of accents everything well the good news is i at least know that the magical cleaning entity is going to show up any day now the bad news is this graffiti is like extremely stuck on here Hang on, is the reason this wall isn't being cleaned? Because there's some like dirt and grime up top? Yes, there is. It was hidden from my view. Will the ladder work out better actually? Hang on. And just skillfully walk across the railing all the way. Perfect. It cannot be safe for me to be up here, but I'll do anything to get the job done. Even if it means breaking a few bones along the way. So now I wanna go ahead and cut this wall in half because it reveals a ton of graffiti left over. So I think after doing that top section, it's just a graffiti left. As long as you don't count this side. <laughs> Wait, this is all the same wall and it's over halfway done. If I clean the dirt off this, does the entity take the graffiti off for me? You know, it won't hurt to find out. Well, I cleaned this entire side. So unless it's in this one little dirt strip, I've been betrayed. Well, time to start cleaning, I guess. To do graffiti, you just really have to slowly trace the exact spray paint outline. And then it itself slowly gets washed away too. So now with the amount I have left, I'm hoping if I just clear off this whole vector symbol, it'll be done. But one man can only hope so much. Any second now, please. Yes, thank you. Oh, it's so clean. Getting this bench should be easy enough. I think it's just gonna be a couple back and forth, right? You know, I said that, but yet yeah, here I find myself going over it and it's not even halfway done. Oh no, there's dirt on the underside, that's why. Cleaned, cleaned, super cleaned. Well, nice, I think that took care of the rust or whatever that was on top. Now to just take care of the rest of the dirt on bottom. If I clean right here, oh no, wait, I have to use the this. Come on, yes, oh, it's clean, thank you. Wow, look at how red that's supposed to be. Finally, I can get to clearing the floor. And actually it works if I use the green nozzle because I realize I go back over it again. So really cleaning wide area surfaces like this one with my little A and D tactic works out perfectly. Because now this makes the gallery floor clean. Oh, <laughs> finally. Some semblance of progress. I still need to go back to the yellow nozzle when I do stuff like the metal gate and railing because it has like white gunk on it, which for some reason just doesn't get cleared by the green and I have no idea what it is. So, and I think it's all, yep, right there on the underside. Perfect. So now I think all I need to do to actually clean the rest of these walls is just go on top and get rid of the dirt. Unless there's hidden graffiti under it. But as I'm now aware, I can simply just instantly spray away graffiti, which means cleaning is super simple. And now I guess I can work on these nice little sections. And this dirt is really just caked on, so I'm actually gonna go back to the yellow nozzle for cleaning it off the floor. Because with the green nozzle, a lot of it just stays even though it's directly in the middle. So this just saves me time, money, mental sanity, you know, the important things. And now I do believe I really only have this red ramp and the wall left. I'm really curious to see how bright this red pops. Because right now, obviously, it's super murky, but this already is starting to look very nice. You know, now that I think about it, who hired me for that? Like, I'm really good at it, clearly, but this should be like the city's job, not mine. Whose initials are CM and FP? And tell them to come clean this park themselves. I'm really struggling with this wall. Ladder, come here. Ugh, climb slowly. How does dirty... No, time out. How does dirt from all of this get up here magically? Why is that pulsating? 
Is something gonna pop out of that and kill me? Like, what's going on? But I do believe that's clean. And now I just need to wash away this stupid lovey-dovey graffiti. Why can't they be lonely like the rest of us? But there we go. This little section's nice and pretty now. Now to work my way over to the bowl of death. Wait a second, this is called the spine? Doesn't look anything like the spines that I've seen. Well, whatever, it's clean now, so. Wait a second, I might've just made a great discovery. <laughs> Can you just skate off these things, essentially? <laughs> Do I have a skateboard? Is that what's going on? Back to my regularly scheduled cleaning, but that was fun. Now, I do believe I've cleaned pretty much the whole little upper floor of this section. So now time to humble myself and clean this lower part yet again. I think I've actually grown to appreciate cleaning steps because it is just such a pattern of going slowly, getting their little base, and then raising up ever so slightly. All in all, it's just super relaxing. Can't say so much for this little wall rail way. What do you even call this thing? And a nuisance is what it's being right now, so... Oh, there we go. Nice. Now I just have the mysterious death bowl. Hey, a soccer ball. All right, you watermelon bowl. Prepare to meet your doom in the form of pressurized water. You have an annoying amount of curves to you, you know that? But there we go. Little green rims clean. Now just to get the inside. Can I just stand here and like kind of make a circle with my mouth? And it cleaned the whole thing, no? Well, it at least works for this part, so I might as well take advantage of it. There, it's essentially a perfect half-clean bowl. Do you think they'd be willing to let me fill this thing up with cereal? I feel like that would be a fun use of this. What is this like? Is this grass? Like this grimy green-yellow stuff? Is it mold even worse? Oh, that was just instantaneous. Wow, look at how much prettier it shines now. If you just, you know, cut out that portion, things are starting to look pretty good. Cleaning this wall is just super annoying because if I go back too far, yeah, I fall in the bowl. Well, I guess this actually still works for cleaning, huh? Just a little bit more and all the dirt is gone, sort of. There we go. I think I'm just going to leave all the walls for last with their graffiti and then just take them out all at once. Because I do believe cleaning walls is actually just extremely easy. Especially whenever I can just jump and walk on them like this. I mean, the sheer amount of balance this takes is insane. I actually think I'm superhuman. Now what I'm about to do is a very technical display of skill. Here, here, and stick it. Perfect. <laughs> I believe with this little bit left that I have officially cleaned the tops of all the walls which means I can stay here on the ground where humans are supposed to be. And I guess I can clean up this tiny little section that I have left over here. It's really nothing cool, it's just, oh, never mind. this is a fun box. That's arguably the coolest thing in this part. There really is nothing more soothing though than the monotony of just going back and forth and watching your progress work in real time. Like I'm not even doing anything special here, but this still might be my favorite part of cleaning the whole thing. And I do believe that with this, Last little bit here. That's essentially the floor done on this side. Now to take care of the quote unquote fun box. <laughs> I do need to switch to the yellow nozzle though because the green nozzle wasn't really getting a lot of the dirt using this like patented just strafe tactic. But that's fine. Just a little bit of correction and the fun box is on its way to being perfectly clean. From fun box to the funnest box. So let me go ahead and kind of clean between the wall and floors here. That way I can get a good like little spray pattern to follow and my life just gets easier. If there's one thing I like doing, it's being lazy. All right, time to get strafing. I want to take care of the lower area first. That way I can just kind of clean all of this up here later with relative ease. But also if I follow the lower area down, it really helps me just kind of clean up this wall along with it. And now I can move seamlessly up to the quarter pipe, which actually isn't getting cleaned super well, so I'm gonna switch back to my yellow. I don't know what it- I think it's just whenever it's not on the concrete floor and it's on whatever this red stuff is made out of, dirt just seems to want to stick to it like its life depends on it. I guess I could do the patented up down up down up down tactic actually. This seems to be working somewhat well. I say leaving behind a bunch of dirt. <laughs> I'm kind of speeding up by doing this, but I realize it only leaves behind little microscopic specks and then usually I can just do that and get a perfect clean. Like I said, if there's one thing I like to do it's be lazy. I'll get the rest of this upper floor done and then I'll move on to clearing off these walls. But the good news is I can go back to the good old green nozzle which again still leaves some specks behind of like the tougher to clean dirt but I 
don't think it'll be an issue with how much dirt is actually on here. I think the entity can just take care of that for me. So the green one worked for that giant little section, but because I don't really have good footing space, I'm going back to the yellow so I can walk this little tightrope right here. All right, upper floor, whenever you'd like to, you know, meet your end. Feel free, you don't have to wait up for me, friend. I feel like I've gotta be missing like a couple just strips of full on dirt. Cause there's only a little speck left. This little line right here, no. I'm starting to become worried, okay. <laughs> oh man, I thought that was gonna be way worse than what it ended up being. All right, walls, time for you to meet your end now. I know I've already cleaned the tops of you, so I'm not really too worried. Wow, this whole like line tactic is working out great. Look at the dirt just getting erased. Yeah, there's one wall. Are you your own wall too? I can easily take care of you, yep. And then the pan did up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Wow, dirt just comes off the walls so easily. There is literally no care professionalism into what I'm doing right now. I'm just moving my mouse up and down really fast. And it's working. I'm really curious to see how this whole park's gonna look whenever I clean all the walls up. Cause I feel like the teal and blue really contrast well with the yellow and orange. Oh yeah, kind of like that. But I believe with that, that's this entire little side clean. Now just this one section left to go. And I guess I'll start by clearing this wall too. Wait a second. I haven't been using the upgraded pressure washer this whole time. Does this work now? Oh, come on. Why did it get switched back? My life could have been so much easier this whole time. Sometimes I really hate when I make these simple mistakes. Yeah, like <laughs> look at how much more efficient the green nozzle is. This makes cleaning everything just so much easier now. I will never again accidentally switch back to a lesser product. Yo, nice, the upper floor is clean. Now let me just take care of the rest of the dirt that's on these little walls, cause then I just need to get rid of the graffiti. I really do hate how much faster this is going. That's, <laughs> what a critical mistake I've just made. That's fine, we're cleaning at a new rate. Literally super speed right now. Oh, Entity, whenever you're ready, my friend. Cause I do believe the skate park floor is officially clean. There's a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, now the green nozzle can clean up these quarter pipes with super ease. I feel like I've taken care of all the really tough complicated parts and now this is just a breeze. You know things are going well when I start accidentally rhyming. I'm apparently missing something. Oh, I missed like everything in this one little pocket. My bad. Uh, Entity, you trying to help me out with the rest, please? That would be very lovely. No, you're gonna make me switch to my yellow nozzle and just start spraying at random, kinda? This is the top of this railing? Perfect. Oh, and my to-do list is up. Apparently I forgot a rail and I think it's this one. So the classic crouch down and bust out the red nozzle tactic. Oh yeah, there's just a whole line here and now it's clean. The arch probably would be a bit of an issue, but a lot of the dirt is just on a very easily sprayable surface right in front of my face. And then I can just superhuman my way up on top. Sorry, Arch, you might be an issue for a lesser power washer, but not me. You know, I uh, actually didn't take the middle part up top there into consideration, but I think if I go yellow, I can kinda hit it. Yeah, perfect. And with the yellow, I just have to look up and do the inside. Come on, get clean, get clean. It's just a little bit in the middle left. I almost have it. Yeah. Yes, Arch, clean. All I have left to do is the walls but I can go to my spray nozzle. Where's that? Oh, that's right. I have to go back to this power washer because it's the only one I have this little multi-purpose sprayer on. Now I understand what happened, but let's just take out these walls one at a time. There's no way this can be cost efficient, but oh, well, there's another wall. That's fine. Only three walls left. Tell you what, make it two. I just got to get rid of that. And I think Get rid of this one red one as well. This is the last wall left. Can I, hello? Where's the dirt at? Can we please, yes! Ah, oh, job complete, woo! I have $1,990 and just look at this progress. Oh wow, wait, 1990, doesn't that mean I'm $10 away from the heavy duty spray nozzle? Oh wait. Give me one second. If I just spray this one motorbike with my green nozzle. Oh wait, this is not working. That's fine. I'm taking my anger out on you now, stupid gnome. 